Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing another collective haul. I feel like I just did a huge Sephora haul and now I have more stuff. Um, <laughs> but this one is not just Sephora. Um, I also have some exciting indie brand products. Well, just one indie brand, but a lot of products from that brand. I have um, a ColourPop order, and then I have some new stuff, and yeah, I figured I'd just do a haul because sometimes I get things and then I don't show them on my channel and I just put them away in my new makeup drawer and then even I forget about them. So I figured maybe I should do hauls more often and that way like you guys can see what I actually have if I don't <laughs> mention it um, you'll know what I have so if there's something you want to see in a video please let me know um, yeah because I do intend to film videos with a lot of this stuff I just don't know when I'm gonna have time to do it and it's a lot easier to just show you without putting stuff on my face so that's what's happening today I don't even know where to begin <laughs> I guess I'll start with the Sephora things. Actually, I have one thing that's from BoxyCharm. I didn't get a lot of makeup in my last BoxyCharm, but I got an eyeshadow palette that I thought was pretty cool. So it's from the brand Beauty Bakery. The name is weird. It's called Sour You Doin'. Like, how are you doing? But sour? I, I don't really... I don't know. <laughs> And there's like lemons on it, so I mean, that's the theme. I think Beauty Bakery always has like a obviously bakery kind of theme, like sweets kind of. Um, but I really like the color story of this because it's orange and yellow. And if you guys are new here, I love orange and yellow eyeshadow and this is like huge I thought when I saw this like the sneak peek I thought it was gonna be like a little pen like this a little palette I mean but it's like actually really big <laughs> so yeah I've never tried beauty bakery I don't think I've tried anything from them the only thing I have are their sponges but I haven't tried them yet because I have other ones that are older so I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is going to be like a fun summer palette and it has a nice mirror, but um, yeah, I haven't tried it yet, obviously. So I just wanted to show you that I did get this and I also got um, a clear brow gel in that boxy charm. Did I need another clear brow gel? No, but <laughs> at least it's something I use every time I do my makeup. And yeah, everything else was skincare. So I'll probably show you that in my skincare confession series where I show you like new stuff that came in and what I used up and things like that. Since we're talking about eyeshadow palettes, I will show you another one that I got at Sephora. I got the Huda Beauty Color Block um, eyeshadow palette, the blue one, obviously. I actually am surprised that this is the one I wanted in the end because I, like I just said, I love orange eyeshadow palettes and the other one is orange and purple, but I just felt like that one was too like orange and purple, like <laughs> in the swatches it just looked like orange, purple, orange, purple, but this one looks like it has more depth, like you can create more variety of looks. And I do also love blue eyeshadow, although it has to be like a certain shade of blue. I do not like like turquoisey blue that much that I've realized from doing Panda's eyeshadows. But yeah, I thought this one would be really fun also for summer. And this is like um, a cool packaging. It's like raised and this is um, like rubbery. So. That's pretty cool. But this is what it looks like. I kind of love how that looks. And 
The thing that like really intrigued me about these palettes is that there's a cake liner in each of them. So this is the cake liner in this palette. And if you don't know, a cake liner is basically you wet your your brush and you can use the shadow as a liner. It just it's basically a liquid liner but in a powder form. So I thought that was really cool and I'm pretty excited. So you see what I mean? Like this one has this like purpley blue, it has like green blues, it has a yellow, it has this split pan which looks really fun. Let's swatch some of these. Obviously I won't swatch the cake liner because it doesn't swatch, you have to wet it. But this like sparkly shade looks cool. Oh, it feels really dry though. <laughs> Okay, I actually might not like this shade because it's reminding me of the shade that I'm trying to use in my Pandos Eyeshadows project that I just mentioned that I don't like. Um, yeah, so that shade I guess is more like a topper because it's very dry. So I don't know how I feel. Oh, but that one was very smooth. That's the matte next to it. Let's see, this yellow, okay, and this green, ooh, that's a unique shade. So those are some swatches. I don't know, I just felt like this could be really fun. I don't know, this might spark some creativity. And I really love the shade of the cake liner. I've seen people use it in videos and it looks really cool. So I'm hoping I like this. I don't always get the um, nine pen palettes from Huda Beauty because I feel like they're often like hit or miss and honestly I haven't really seen, I've seen like one or two videos of people reviewing them so I don't know. I guess I'm just in a buying mood. I normally don't buy things unless I've seen really good reviews about them from people that I watch very often. But in this case, I don't know what happened. I saw it in store and I just had to get it, I suppose. <laughs> I have more eyeshadow palettes to show you. So yeah, but let's keep going with the Sephora products. So actually, just to show you what I'm wearing today, and you will have seen this video already, but I'm wearing the new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring... <laughs> I have to look at the box. Blurring Balm Powder. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm doing a wear test. So I've been wearing this for like four, four to five hours already. Um, yeah, I think I like it so far. It's not my favorite base product that I've tried um, because I do have dry skin and this is like a balm to powder finish. So I do feel like it's making me look a bit more dry like on my forehead but it kind of smoothed out my pores also so i'm kind of torn on this one i'm gonna do another check-in later so maybe i'll have more thoughts then but you will have seen that already anyway but yeah i did get this from sephora as well and then okay do you guys sign up for the notifications to remind you of things that come back in stock. I feel like I shouldn't do that because it makes me like, oh my God, I have to get it before it goes back out of stock. So that's what happened with these two things. I finally got the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. So this product I think is always out of stock because of TikTok. It's not even a new product. But that's what's happening on TikTok. Like people are discovering older things and they're going viral and then everyone wants them again, which is like kind of intriguing to me. I don't know. I am still like new to the beauty side of TikTok because my TikTok was never showing me beauty products, um, beauty videos in my For You page. But now that's like all I see, so it's not very good for my wallet. <laughs> but it is very interesting because like I said, like old products are coming back that you may have overlooked. 
I don't know. So this is one of them. So this is a blush. Well, I don't know if it's meant to be a blush, but people use it as a blush um, because of the shade. It's pink and it's in this like squeezy tube. I haven't even tried this yet. I don't even know. Okay, you open it like that. <laughs> and it's one of these poof things. So as you can see, I haven't even swatched it, should I? Okay, let's just swatch it for the video. I'm a little scared because I don't know how much is going to come out. This is my first Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light wand, so I don't, I'm not really familiar. Oh, you have to turn it on. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. See? Ooh. That's the shade. That looks really pretty. I don't even want to waste it. Should I put it on? So everyone's losing their mind over this on TikTok and I guess in real life because it's always out of stock. I think it's out of stock again, but it's really pink. Where's my sponge? <laughs> I already had like three different, no, I had two different blushes on already. So let's just take it down a notch. <laughs> Okay, that might have not been a good idea, but I simply had to put it on my face after I saw the swatch. So I'm going to turn it back off. You just twist it like that because I don't want it going everywhere. Although I'm sure it will eventually. So I finally got this. I think I'm going to do a video like TikTok made me buy it kind of thing because I feel like different products are being talked about on TikTok that aren't really talked about on YouTube and I find it very interesting. The other thing, same story, TikTok made me buy it. This is not new either. In fact, it's a nor a Norse. <laughs> it's a Nars orgasm product. You might be like, why are you still buying orgasm? Um I have like every orgasm thing. I have the powder blush, I have lip gloss, I have lipstick, I have a lot of things. But this is the liquid blush, and I don't own any of these from NARS. That's the packaging, really nice as usual. So this one, someone on TikTok, I think her name is XOXO Amira. I'm not sure. That's the thing about TikTok, like, I can't remember who's who because everything's just so fast. <laughs> but she keeps using this in videos and it looks amazing. Although she does have like a more tan skin, but I think I can still pull it off. I mean, it's just, it's NARS orgasm, but in liquid form. So from what I heard about these, like it's, and a pump. I heard that these are extremely pigmented so you don't need to use a lot of it and you can use it as like a base like you can put this on and then another blush on top I don't know I just had to get this um, it was also out of stock forever I think this one person is what is the one putting everything out of stock because she's like the queen of blush especially like pink blush which is very popular um on tiktok right now but look that's really pretty actually it's a lot more pink than the charlotte tilbury even um and not as like sheer so yeah probably use a light hand with that but um yeah i'm excited about these products because i don't have a lot of pink blushes I realize. I have a lot of like terracotta or mauve but I have nothing really pink and I feel like that's the vibe right now for spring and summer so yeah I got these. The only thing that's weird is now that I've taken this lid off it's like not going back on normal. I don't know what I did. Oh okay I think it's because I untwisted this. <gasps> oh my god. 
that just went everywhere. <laughs> I'm making a mess already. What happened? It overflowed. Okay, so whatever you do, do not twist this off because it will get everywhere. Anyway, that's the NARS. Did I even say what these are called? Oh, it's just called Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm. So this product is not new, but I think this shade is new because it says new on the Sephora app. This one, did I already mention this in a video? I don't remember, but I finally got the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I think I mentioned I tried to buy this during the VIB sale and it was really weird because I went in store in like the big giant Sephora that's downtown and the girl told me they don't sell LYS in store anymore. So as in they had it before and then they didn't. But then I went back, I think last week or the week before, yeah, two weeks ago and they had it. So <laughs> I don't know if she was confused and if they had always had it or if like now it is back in store. But yeah, they had the shade that I wanted which was sold out online, so I picked it up. I don't need another concealer, but I wanted to get this while I saw it in store. And I did ask the, the person that works there um, if they thought the shade was okay for me because I got the shade LN6, which is the same shade that I have in the LYS foundation um, and it's described as neutral. It did look kind of dark in store. I did swatch it but I think the undertone is going to be good for a concealer. We'll have to see. I'm really hoping I like this because I have been having some not good luck with concealers lately and I'm kind of on the concealer journey to find one that I actually like and that's hydrating but not too like doesn't crease too much i don't know but i've heard really good things about this one so i picked that one up um this is another product i wanted to buy during the vib sale but it was sold out it's the rare beauty warm wishes stick no warm wishes effortless bronzer stick in the shade power boost this is the lightest shade um, but it still looked like it had some good color to it. So that's the packaging. I really like this. Um, I think this is very popular on TikTok also. So that's the shade I got. Um, yeah, I've heard really good things about this. Everyone was recommending it during the sale, but like I said, it was out of stock. And when I saw this one, it was like the last one in the store. So naturally I had to get it. I did return the the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, if you saw that video, but I'm hoping I really like this. I think I will because it's just like a bronzer stick. It looks like it's really easy to blend out and everything, so I'm excited to try that out. Another product, I'm just going to call this video like things I wanted to buy during the VIP sale, but they were out of stock because that's what happened with this also. This is the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. So these, I think what happened is that they didn't come to Canada until after the sale, but the, like, the listing was up on Sephora, but it was out of stock the whole time. Like it didn't even come in stock ever. But finally, these are in stock in Canada and I saw them in store also, so that's really good because there is like a lot of different shades of this, so maybe you want to see it in person. But this is the one I wanted to get. The It's actually called Fat Ass, but like P-H-A-T, but that's really funny. And this is the first one size product that I've purchased. I honestly haven't been that interested in anything else. That's the packaging. Um, I just feel like Patrick Starr's aesthetic is not really the same as mine. Like he's much more like full coverage, full beat kind of makeup. But this really intrigued me because it's um, a blush palette, 
but you have three different textures. So you have a cream blush, and it is under a little flap, which I love, a matte blush, and a glowy blush. And you can use them like separately, but um, you can also use all three together. And he says like that you can do that like to create dimension, yeah, a 3D blush effect basically. So yeah, I am very happy that I got my hands on this shade because even when these did come in stock online, this shade was sold out for a long time, I think, because everyone, again, is on the pink blush train. But I am very excited to try this. I think I've said that about every product I've talked about so far. So I definitely need to do like a new makeup video and try all these things and see how I like them. Another product that TikTok made me buy, this one I blame on, I think her name is Elizabeth Makeup Artist, I think. Um, she's from Australia and she just has the best like makeup aesthetic. It's very like, effortless kind of but I don't know how to explain it like she wears like eyeshadow like she wears foundation and everything but it always looks so natural somehow anyway she really made me want this mascara this is the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes instant volume length and 24 hour lift effect in the shade dream pop so um, I think I had said in a previous video that I was on a mascara no buy <laughs> But this one I had to get it because the shade is Described as a berry brown I believe and I just thought that was gonna look really nice Especially on my green eyes. I feel like that's a very flattering shade um, I also have the pillow talk is it a pillow top? The eyeliner that's like berry brown, I have that too. So I'm. this is the packaging, by the way. It's actually really beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to be nice. <laughs> Sorry. I just have some gripes with Charlotte Tilbury packaging, but let's look at the color. Oh, yes. Oh, that is an interesting wand. Okay, so... Yeah, I might have to open this one even though I have older mascaras, but I only have black mascaras. So that's how I justified buying this one because like one day I might want to use this depending on like my eye look that day. And then like one another day I'll go back to my black mascara. So yeah, I don't know. I just had to get it. I'm just always excited to try new things. And I think you guys like to see new makeup too because those new makeup videos do pretty well on my channel so that's also how I justify buying things. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's it for Sephora things. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. I just wanted to mention, um, this was a really good um, what was it? Like an offer they have, you know, where you can put a code in and you get something free. But I got this Color Wow and Sephora Hair Challenge pack package. Um, and it came with a color security shampoo and a color security conditioner. And it also came with this, which I was very intrigued by because everyone on YouTube was talking about this Color Wow brand. Um, I did, I do actually, well, I dyed my hair like a few, like, wait, when did I dye my hair? Like over a month ago. And I don't think anyone noticed <laughs> because it's like the same color as my natural hair. I just wanted to cover like some grays, but I didn't really do a good job because it was actually the first time I ever dyed my hair like at home. So I didn't really know what I was doing, but I do intend to get my hair dyed professionally. So I thought I would try these products because everyone's raving about them, especially this. And this is like, 
an amazing size for a sample. It's actually 1.7 fluid ounces and this is the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It says it magically transforms texture and amazing humidity proofing powers. I don't know, I just really felt like I needed to try this and I just saw that it was an offer so I just wasn't expecting to get this big size for free like I mean well it's not technically not for free like you had to spend a certain amount of money but I was buying something else anyway so yeah I just wanted to mention that because if it's still available I would suggest picking it up just go on the Sephora app under offers and see if it's still there if it's not check out something else because I feel like people forget about that but you can get a lot of good things sometimes so that was it for my sephora stuff so let me show you something very exciting i made my first purchase from odin's eye which is a swedish indie brand everything is swedish today <laughs> i was just talking about the denisa myricks product it has swedish technology anyway that's funny but so Odin's Eye was doing a mystery box for Easter and it was an amazing deal. At least I thought so because I live in Canada and buying indie makeup, especially from overseas, can be extremely expensive and that's why like I haven't bought anything from <laughs> indie brands really. Um, and usually I don't buy things from overseas unless I'm extremely intrigued by it, like the Vive products or um, when I bought the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette and then I got charged customs, so <laughs> that wasn't fun. But Odin's Eye, I had an amazing experience ordering from them. So they are a Swedish brand, but their warehouse is in Hong Kong. So that's where the products ship out from. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna get this in like three months. <laughs> but it actually, was not bad at all and their tracking system was amazing so when you order from them you have a tracking number and like every single thing that happens to your order will be shown like they'll say like received box at the warehouse packaged it up sent it here left the warehouse and you can follow everything so that's what i did because i was very nervous about something coming from overseas i was worried like when it got here, I would be charged customs, but I wasn't. And I actually don't remember if, um, maybe when I bought it, it, the price already included the customs, like ColourPop does, which I love, and I think all brands should do it like that. But yeah, anyway, let me show you what I got. So obviously there was two sizes of the mystery box, and of course I got the big one, because <laughs> I was like, well, it's more stuff, so it's a better deal. That's how I accumulate so many things. I always go for more for less money, which is not, maybe not so good. So when I went on the site to check this out, I saw that they also had the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikvist. I think I pronounced her name correctly. Um, She's a YouTuber, if you didn't know. So she has a collab with them and they were doing a theme box for her palette, which is called the Hella, Hella palette, I think. So I added that to my order also. <laughs> so this is the Hella palette theme box. It came in its own thing and everything was packaged so good. I was just very impressed with all of this. And the feel of the products is just, it feels very high quality. And it was, I want to say affordable for indie makeup from overseas, I will say that. So it has this really nice artwork inside, which is the same as on the palette. And because I got the theme box, it came with a little extra thing here. And I got... A little Odin's eye mirror. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has like their 
print. Yeah, you can see it there. And I was very happy that I got the mirror because the other thing was a color switch and I already have one and I was like, I hope I don't get that because I won't know who to give it to because I don't think my mom's going to use a color switch and I don't need two color switches but I'm very happy I got the little mirror. I'm going to put that in my purse probably. Actually, I might need to leave it here because I always find I need a little mirror. Um, I also got a lip product. So with the theme box, you got... I think it's like either the mirror or the color switch and a random lip product. So the random lip product that I got was a, well, it, this, the collection is called Elva. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly because it's like this. It's an A with the dots. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to speak Swedish, but I think it's pronounced Elva from what I've seen on YouTube. This is the matte lip stain and I got the shade Dry Dates. So this is like a really vampy shade that I'm probably not gonna pull out until fall, winter, but I love this packaging. It's kind of like the ColourPop Fresh Kiss things but it's like a soft touch kind of it feels like more expensive basically and this is the shade so you can see it's a very vampy shade and that's the applicator so let me swatch oh and it smells like something oh i just got that on my nose i hope you can't really tell because it is a stain that's a shade a nice like berry berry brown i guess and these are matte lip stains so i'm hoping it means like they wear nicely because when the lip product stains as it wears off it doesn't look as bad because it stained your lips so even if the product comes off there's still like a stain underneath and i just realized <laughs> i forgot to reapply my lip product that i was wearing before Whatever, this is just a casual haul video. Anyway, so I got those two products. But the star of the show, of course, is the Hella palette. So it came with a little note from Angelica. I think this is like, if you already are familiar with Odin's Eye, this might be old news because this palette came out like two months ago. But I didn't know about it until now. <laughs> so this is the, like I said, the Hella Odin's Eye and Angelica eyeshadow palette. So this is the, um, this thing, I forget what those are called. So it's the same artwork but in like a black and white. And then on the palette itself is the color. Um, so I did watch Angelica's video on this after I bought it because I was like let me see what was like the inspiration behind this so this is um Angelica here but obviously like she has a half skull face and it's because Hella or I think she was saying heel heel in in Swedish is like the goddess of like the underworld basically something like that because Odin's Eye is all all their collections are about like Nordic mythology um, so she was inspired by Hela because it shows like life and death kind of thing anyway if you want to hear like a better explanation <laughs> I would watch her video but it's actually like a really nice story even though it sounds like kind of morbid yeah just go watch her video but this is a palette and it's beautiful um i don't think i have anything comparable to this in like the color story in my collection it's very like obviously green is the focal point but you have like pinks you have these deeper shades here you have neutrals so i think her um her story was that 
she wanted something that like everyone could use basically but also that you could get like a very light um look or you could get a dark like a deeper look and that's like the story behind hella it's like life and death kind of thing light and dark you know what i mean so yeah, I just love how this looks and it looks even prettier in person, I feel, than it looked like on the website. So I was really happy when I got this and I'm very excited to try this out. I think I'm going to do an Odin's Eye dedicated video because as you'll see soon, I have a lot more things. But yeah, and I'm very excited to try an indie brand because I haven't tried like, I feel like I haven't tried anything. Except for like ones that I get in BoxyCharms, I guess. Some of those are probably indie brands. Indie brand means independently owned, if you didn't know. So they're brands that aren't like under an umbrella corporation, like Estee Lauder, L'Oreal, that kind of thing. So yeah, I kind of want to maybe start doing like an indie brand spotlight series on my channel because I've been watching a lot of indie brand content lately and everything looks amazing. <laughs> but like I said, it's kind of more expensive because obviously an indie brand, they have to charge more, you know, to cover costs. And they're usually just like one or two people even. I don't know about Odin's Eye. I feel like they're probably bigger than most indie brands. But sometimes it's just like one person making the product um so yeah i thought that would be fun to do a video on but now i don't know what i'll do in that video because i have this huge box also <laughs> so this is the big mystery box so there was um a small one and a big one and i got the big one oh and also i got I used Lauren May Beauty's code when I made this purchase. It only worked on the mystery box, but I saved like almost 10 bucks using her code, which was just Lauren, I believe. Um, but a lot of creators have codes with Odin's Eyes, so you can use whoever you want if you know someone else that has a code. But I used hers because, I, first of all, I love her videos. But she's the one that made me buy this because it was like the first video I saw in my recommended. It was her like Owen's Eye mystery box try on haul and it really got me because everything just looked really pretty. And I had previously seen a lot of other videos about Owen's Eye because they collab with like smaller creators which is really cool. Anyway, I got all of this stuff so the first thing and this was a mystery box so i didn't know what to expect at all and i don't own anything else from odin's eye like i hadn't previously so it made sense to get a mystery box because i'm not going to get any duplicates but i got a whole brush roll for one thing so it looks like this it's beautiful actually it's like the same gradient as the Natasha Denona pastel palette, which is funny, but it feels like faux leather basically um, And it opens like that and they're actually all eye brushes Which I was very happy to see because I definitely don't need any more like face brushes. I already have like four travel like face brush things um so yeah, when I saw it was eye brushes, I was like, great, because I always need more eye brushes, mostly because I don't clean mine, you know, often enough. But I actually haven't even taken these out of the package, so I'll do that now. So here's an example. Ooh, they feel so nice too. They have like that soft touch again, and this color, beautiful. So these are the... Freya brushes, I guess. That's all I can see, really. Um, this is the FR3. It's like this. 
Oh, bed feels really nice and soft. Okay, I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna use these when I do the Odin's Eye video. I'm especially excited about this big one. Oh yeah. This is the FR1. It's like a big fluffy brush. I love these for like doing my crease. Yeah, and then there's just like a smaller one, a more like pointy one, and then these like sm the smudger one, and this like eyeshadow packer. So yeah, I was really like surprised that they would put a whole brush roll as a mystery box item because this is probably, you know, not that cheap. So. I thought that was really nice. Plus you get the case and you can use this um, on your desk and leave it open and just put your brushes in it. And I need more brush holders. <laughs> so I was very excited to get this. And then everything else is makeup. So the next thing I got was the Norns Mesmerizer Veil of Future. So this is a highlighter. Look at this artwork. Well, you can't really see it, I guess, on camera, but it's really pretty. I don't know anything about this collection, like what it means, but I'll probably look more into that when I do my video, but look at this. There is a plastic on everything, but you can peel it off. I'm just leaving it for now. But this looks beautiful and I'm so happy that I got this one because I think they only make colorful highlighters and I, I am someone that likes colorful highlighters but the other ones were like very colorful like there's a blue one and it looks like blue like you will have a blue streak on your face but I feel like this one looks more because it's like pinky I don't really know how it's gonna look like all swirl together, but this is the one I would have bought. Like if I went on the site to buy a highlighter, I would have picked up this one. So I'm so happy that this is the one I got. I don't know if Veil of Future is the shade name of this. I think it is, but they're called the Mesmerizer Highlighters, I believe. So I got a highlighter and then I got three lip products <laughs> and I was like, oh, um, maybe this could be a duplicate from the one I got in the Hela theme box or Hela. I, see, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I didn't get any duplicates. So that's really good because I got two more matte lip stains. I got the shade Ripe Papaya which is a really nice, like, burnt orange. I don't know if all of their lip products are very deep shades because all the ones I got are pretty deep, but that's what that looks like. That would be very pretty in fall as well. And the other one I got is called Perfect Plum. By the way, I'm not really talking much about the packaging, but it's amazing. Like, this brand must be very big for an indie brand because everything is very well done. Like, look, the packaging even has like a place where it keeps it nice. It has a little cutout. And I, is that even? Yeah, I think the cutout is like the shade of the product too, which would be kind of crazy and like, I don't know, just very nice attention to detail. But yeah, this is the Perfect Plum shade. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe this one I'd wear in spring and summer, but the other two definitely fall shades for me. But that's what those look like. I'm just wiping them off right away so they don't stain <laughs> my hands. And then I also got a cream lipstick. So unfortunately this one 
was, um, it came a bit broken. The same thing happened to my Vive lipstick actually. So I don't know if that's like an issue with cream lipsticks that go on airplanes. <laughs> Cause I think they, the bullet like melts and comes out of the tube and that's what happened. But this feels very heavy and luxurious. And this one is the cream lipstick, wait, yeah, also from the Elva line, this is the shade Love Jasmine. So what happened with this one, I think you can see, is when I opened it, the bullet was like in the cap, but I actually just pushed it down gently and it went back in. So I shouldn't have any issue with this going forward because it's back in the casing. But this is a shade, it looks beautiful. And this is very creamy. And it's more sheer. That's really pretty. Maybe I should put this on right now since I forgot to put my lip product on. Ooh. That feels so like emollient doesn't have a scent. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, I like that. I don't know how well it goes with my cool tone eyes, but I really love that shade. It feels super creamy and nice. So that's also probably why it came damaged because it's so creamy, but I was able to fix it. So I'm happy about that. And then like maybe the most exciting things are the eyeshadow palettes and I got three eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> so I got the brush roll, the highlighter, three lip products and three eyeshadow palettes. And I think it was only $75, I think. I'll check on that after just to make sure, but I'm very impressed with all this stuff for the price that I paid. So what do I show you first? I guess I'll show you the mini palettes first. So this one is the Elva 2 Mini Ocean palette. And all their stuff comes in like their own cases like that. And I think I'm keeping them, <laughs> at least for now. But it's the same like um, artwork on the palette itself, which is beautiful. I think Elva is like fairy or something to do with fairies if i remember correctly because there is actually little fairies on everything so that would make sense but look at this so it has the plastic again just lift that up so their mini palettes all have the same like format from what i can tell they're five pans but the middle pan is a split pan so you get six shades actually but this looks beautiful and this shade in person is like mesmerizing i haven't even touched these yet <laughs> but okay maybe i need to for the video let's swatch let's just swatch all of them this video is going to be really long well i'm almost done so <laughs> maybe i should have warned you that in the beginning um but let's do these Oh, I swatched them in the dumbest place ever. Okay. Okay, that was the worst place to swatch. Can you see? <laughs> so that's the ocean palette. So the two shades in the middle, they're very sparkly. And I think it would probably look best like on top of the other shades. That's probably like the idea. Um, but they're really pretty. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. I feel like this is a nice summer palette also. So that's fun. So yeah, that dark blue is like very pigmented. This one is the Verdandi mini eyeshadow palette again i don't know what that means but the art is amazing <laughs> same art on the packaging and this actually this one has like a textured feel these are all like cardboard packaging 
but this one feels like a texture on top but it's very beautiful and this one is stunning that's what this one looks like i just love these two colors together that like peach and light blue just looks so beautiful okay maybe i'll just swatch them on my hand this time <laughs> Okay, so this split pen in this palette is more like flaky and emollient. Wow. I am swatching these awfully, but I think you'll get the idea. That was like a terrible job at swatching. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you can even, they're so sparkly you can't see them. The, this was the split pen it's very shiny and like more metallic whereas the split pen and the other palette was felt more like topper shades these ones would be like fine on their own and this shade is so pigmented and i really love that color and then this is the the last shade which is like a nice brown metallic so this should be very exciting to do looks with these palettes and then the last palette i got was the alpha eyeshadow palette this is like a full size one obviously this has the like textured feel as well and this is beautiful i'm obsessed look at this this is like a very i guess it's more neutral compared to the other ones that had more like vibrant colors this is like a nice everyday palette in my opinion but it has like my favorite kind of yellow up here that's the shade daisy so you can do more like yellowy orange looks you can do pink purple neutral i'm just very excited about this one let's swatch some of these shades Ooh, look at that. That's the shade Baby's Breath. And I love that there's a shade called Coffee Bean, which is a nice, like, bronzy shade. Look at that. Okay, this might be my favorite one. And I have to swatch the shade Golden Tulipa because it looks so nice and flaky and metallic. Okay, I'm going to have so much fun with these, I think. <laughs> so I haven't tried anything from Ohm's Eye before, like I said. So I don't know how these shadows perform, but so far I'm extremely impressed. And just like looking at these is like an experience in itself. So I'm very excited about this. And I feel like this brand must be good because everyone's talking about it and people probably wouldn't do collabs with brands that did not perform so i'm very excited like i said a million times so let me know if you want to see an odin's eye video i'm gonna do it anyway but <laughs> if there's a lot of interest i'll do it sooner rather than later but yeah I'm so happy with this purchase. It was such a fun experience because it was a mystery box. So I had no idea what to expect. And I didn't read like um, on the site anything. I just added to cart and ran <laughs> because I was worried like they would sell out. Um, but I think they, they didn't sell out too quickly. So I don't know, at least not the big one. And I think the Hella palette is still available. I don't know if the scene box is available, but the palette is definitely. So yeah, that was my Odin's Eye order and everything came amazingly packaged. I'm just very impressed. So I would definitely order from them again. Although like now I have like their whole collection, so I don't know when I'll need to, but it was, a great experience okay so we're down to the last box <laughs> my color pop order so i had to do it i had to get the winnie the pooh collection i just could not help myself 
This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Look at this. So I got the whole collection. I didn't get the PR collection because honestly I didn't understand what the difference was between the PR collection and this. I think the PR collection just had like some kind of like special, I don't know what, like a insert and it was more expensive just for that reason. So I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not like a Winnie the Pooh super fan, but I do like Winnie the Pooh. I mean, I watched it. I remember watching it as a kid and loving it and having the books. And now that I'm an adult, I just think he's the cutest thing ever. So let me show you what came in the collection. Um, so the first thing is the Just a Taste of Honey Lux Gloss Trio. Look at this packaging. It's so cute. I actually don't own any ColourPop Lux Glosses, so I don't know anything about them. I actually haven't heard good reviews though, <laughs> so that worries me. Um, I think people say that they're very thick, but actually I don't think I mind that. I Historically, I do like thick glosses because they last longer, like the Fenty Gloss Balm. What else? The Buxom, I feel like are thicker formulas. So having a thick gloss doesn't bother me. But anyway, I haven't tried them on my lips yet, so I don't know. But there's three shades and they're all like variations. They're like nudes, basically. But this is the lightest one. This is the shade Clover Honey, and they smell like honey. And I know I've said before, I actually don't like the smell of honey. <laughs> so you might wonder why I bought a honey scented collab. Well, it was just too cute, but yeah, I don't love the scent of honey. I don't know what it is about it, but this smells better than other products that have honey in them, like the Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm, which is now in my purse. I hate the smell of it, but I love the formula. But yeah, and they are just way too cute. Look at this little Pooh Bear on there. So this one is probably the one I would use the most, the lightest shade. Um, but there's also Wildflower Honey. It's like a mid-tone. And dandelion honey which is the deepest shade so i'm gonna do a video on this as well and i'm gonna swatch all of these in that video so if you're interested i mean it's ColourPop, so i don't even know if this collection is available right now or if it's out of stock i i don't know hopefully you can get it somehow Maybe it's going to Ulta, although I don't know about that. Okay, this product, this is I think what made me want to get this collection. First of all, how cute. This is the Honey Pot Lip Scrub and Mask Duo. So I got a lip scrub and lip mask duo in the Secret Admirer collection, but I gave it to my mom for Valentine's Day because I have so many lip products <laughs> to get through but this one i cannot resist are you ready for this i mean i'm sure you've all seen this before everyone's talking about it they're little honey jars and they came with these things i don't know what these are called these i don't know what these are called but you know, it's the thing you put in honey. Look at this. You dip this little honey thing in the pot and then you put it on your lips. It's just so cute. Oh my god. So the lip mask is called Yum Yum Yum. And let me open this. It smells like honey, that's for sure. Beautiful. And then the lip scrub is in the same packaging, but 
with a like opaque lid. This one is like more clear. And you got two of these so you can use them in the lip mask and the scrub. I don't know why I'm smelling. They all have the same smell of honey. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I did get a duo like this before, but I gave it to my mom, so I don't know anything about these ColourPop products. Actually, the yeah, the lip scrub for some reason is a ColourPop product, but the lip mask is a fourth ray product. But so if you don't know, fourth ray is like another brand under ColourPop that makes more like skincare but I just don't understand why the lip scrub isn't also made by 4th Ray I don't know but they're the same company either way but anyway this is just the cutest thing I've ever seen and I'm never getting rid of these little jars and those honey spoon things <laughs> so even like if ever I use up all this product I am repurposing these jars for like my tiered tray decor or something because they're just so cute and then in the collection you got three super shock cheek highlighters in like um, different shades so there's like oh how do I show this to you this is the lightest shade and Okay, the thing about these is I think my packaging is faulty uh, and they're all like this so I don't know. I don't own any other ColourPop Super Shock Cheek products but they're not closing all the way. So let me know below, is that normal? <laughs> I don't imagine it is because I, what I have heard about the ColourPop Super Shock formula is if you don't close it properly, they dry out. So I'm a bit concerned what's going to be the longevity of these. I don't know if it's something I can fix myself. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the lightest shade. It's called Silly Old Bear. Oh my god, that's so creamy okay <laughs> I do own a super shock eyeshadow I don't think I've ever used it though I may have used it one time so I was shocked when I just touched that just now because it feels like a cream so yeah definitely these are gonna dry out if I don't figure out this packaging or maybe it's just it is closed but it just doesn't it doesn't become flush with the bottom. I don't know, let me know if you got this collection, do you have the same issue or is it just me? So obviously this being the lightest shade, that's probably the one I will use the most because the other two go up in depth. So the middle shade, which I think I can still get away with in the summer at least, is called 100 Acre Wood. So this one has like an even bigger gap you see what I mean? Something is wrong. Um, but this is, yeah, like I said, 100 acre wood. I'll give you a swatch. They all have the same um, packaging. So this one's more like a yellow gold kind of shift. These look really nice though. And I have heard really good things about the Super Shock highlighters. I'm just really concerned that I can't close that down all the way. And then the deepest shade I could definitely not use as a highlighter, but I was thinking I could use it as a blush bronzer kind of thing. This is the shade Mind Over Matter. But it is, on, on the other hand, it's nice that they did different shades because then if you have a deeper skin tone you can use this as a highlighter so yeah I think it's better that they did it like that than if they had done all light shades you know what I mean so let's swatch this one yeah this is definitely not a highlighter but even an eyeshadow that could be really nice um, but yeah I was thinking I would apply this like up here like where I apply blush and bronzer and see how that works out 
but they all feel super nice and creamy. I hope they stay that way. This one, the gap is not as bad, but it's still there. So it's kind of strange. And then the last thing is the Sweet As Can Be eyeshadow palette. And this looks beautiful. So this is like a different format of palette for ColourPop. Um, at least from what I've seen. It's a tin pan palette and they're little honeycomb shapes. But look at this color story. This is very pretty. Really nice for spring and summer again. It has greens, has neutral, has this shade. This actually looks exactly like the shade in the Animal Crossing La Belle of the Ball palette. Let me see that because it's right here. Normally, I probably wouldn't have noticed that, but this palette is in my shop, my stash right now. So, okay, now I thought it was more similar. The one in the oops, in this palette is more purple, and it's more pink in the Winnie the Pooh Sweetest Can Be. But they're both like those matte shades with shimmer. So if you hate that, I guess you won't like it. <laughs> But I don't mind it at all and I actually feel like it it's a really nice like effect. It doesn't the shimmer doesn't fall like all over your face basically. This just looks really pretty in my opinion. It has that nice mustardy shade that I love, but you can also get some depth with this shade and this one here. And then look at the inside. So cute. So there's no mirror, but I don't mine because this is a very cute image <laughs> and it says little things are beautiful too flowers are such friendly things so cute so i'm very excited to have this in my collection i feel like this collection was more expensive than some previous ones though and there's less in it so i think that's because it's like a franchise, you know, they have to buy the Winnie the Pooh rights or whatever, <laughs> however that works. But it is very well done, I have to say. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Also, I'm excited about everything, obviously. So yeah, I'm going to do a video on this too. Probably like my next video will be on this because I'm sure Colourpop will have come out with like five more collections by the time I get that video up but at least if you were interested in this maybe in the US it might go to Ulta I don't know but yeah I'm gonna do a video on it either way because it's just so cute and so like spring vibes so I think that was everything that was a lot this was a long video I know because my battery died while I was filming it so I hope you liked it. Anyway, I need to stop buying so much things though, that I will say. I just feel like there's been so many like exciting products lately. I don't know. And just like trying new things and making videos on it is like fun for me and my hobby anyway. So. I don't know, but you guys probably have seen in other videos, I am trying to like work through products in my collection. I'm doing like project pens and I just did my makeup inventory, which like was shocking and surprising. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need to rein it in a little, but I, I can't resist testing new products. It's just so fun and yeah. Hopefully Colourpop doesn't come out with anything more exciting. They did just launch the Star Wars collection, but I was like, that's an easy pass for me. I do like Star Wars, but I did not like the color story, like blue and red. Uh, no, that's just not for me. I think that's all I have to say. So look for many new videos, testing new products. Odin's Eye try on kind of thing, Colourpop try on if anyone still cares. <laughs> but 
yeah that's it for today so i hope you like this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye